How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today we're doing a review for uh, Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee. Toe line. He's from Robots in Disguise 2000. Uh, I don't know a lot about that series. Uh, known as Car Robots over in... Japan. Uh, the first time Optimus was a fire truck. Uh, all the Predacons and Decepticons were all repaints, except for Megatron. And most Autobots were new molds, except for the Spy Changers. A lot of good figures. A lot of weird stuff. It's kind of a filler series because it only was one season. And then that was it. Then we went to Armada after that. So. Anytime they do a nod to Robots in Disguise. It's a good thing because it's very kind of obscure when it comes to Transformers series. Uh, you can see we got Bumblebee on the front here with the packaging of him in his uh, tow line in his vehicle mode. Buzzworthy Bumblebee, tow line, Ross in Skies, Transformers. Him right here in the window. He is part of Legacy Evolution. And there's artwork there. There's more of that artwork on that side. Both modes is combined mode because he is. I just did the regular one of him. Uh, scrapbook, I think he was originally. Yeah, Scrapbook, he was originally, so. It was a bullshit. All that legal crap. But yeah, he was Scrapbook before. And I don't have him out here anymore. We'll do some comparison photos between the two later. But uh, let's go ahead and get him unboxed and take a quick look at him. You're welcome to Annika Stories. So, tow line here is in these green and teal and orange colors. Very Mr. Machine colored. I like the wheels are the same. Here's, here's the teal on the, around the wheels, forearms, top of the legs, chest, and on his head. There's a nice little head sculpt. Autobot symbol right there. More of the greens. And the purples. Here, 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 and there. Since I just did Scrap Hook just a few, just like a week ago, I'm not going to do the transformation, but I'm going to, tra so I'm going to transform him off camera and show you the vehicle mode right quick. And so here we have him in his uh, vehicle mode. And yeah, I'll throw on the accessories real quick. It's just like the, the scrap hook. I'm not going to do the combined. Did I do the combined mode? I think I did do it. Yeah, because I had the hot shot out here. I'm 
There's a cow catcher here. The parts covering the windows, the window guards, the engine, exhaust, the hooks, spare tire. Very glad the hook, the that the wheels aren't the clip-on wheels, as those can be kind of annoying. All right, so I mean, he's a junkie on tow truck in the colors of the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine, which is kind of cool. But, uh, I'll flip him back around to his, uh, robot mode, and I'll give you my final thoughts on him in just a moment. A tool line here is a good recolor. I think he's got a different head. I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, it's a good repaint, remold, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's not really available at Target anymore because he was a Target exclusive. I think Buzzworthy Bumblebee is actually over, so it is what it is. Uh, if you find them in secondary stores or online, if he's cheap enough, I'd pick him up. A scrap hook's a little better. I had problems with the arms get popping off, but I think that was happening with scrap hook too. But that might have been just my copies. Never know. Uh, still, these guys are fun figures, so I give them a just solid 8 plus out of 10. It's an 8, he's good, but he's just a repaint with a different head. So, if you feel like you want to get them, pick them up. If you want to pass them up, there's no big deal. Uh, If you liked Toline, if you liked the 2000 Car Robots, R I D Robots in Disguise series, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications, and just remember to keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.